In this video we're going to look at how to merge photos in Photoshop. So let's go and uh, get the Photoshop up. Adobe Photoshop. So it's now open and we go and select our files. So to do this we go to File, Scripts and it says Load Files into Stack. So this is going to load our separate image files, uh, each image in a different layer. So I'm going to do two these images here these images and I'm going to say OK and I'll say OK here and each of the images is loaded up but they're on one on top of each other and here are the layers down this one side so because they're on top of each other and I'm going to move them apart then I'm going to want to make the canvas bigger so if I go to image and then canvas size if I click this relative I found it works very well make that one height, width 100, this 100, say OK, <coughs> and if I make this down here, this percentage down 10%, it gives me a better view. So there it is. Um, there's one of the images on top of the others. If I want to see the other ones, what I can do is hold the control key down and use the mouse, left click, and each time I click there's an image there, I'm going to put that in, I'm going to click that one, control key, it'll move that one there click this one image 5 control T down and it'll move that one there so I've got my four images and what I want to do is put them together so I've got to decide which one is going to be the top image so I think uh, looking at these I'm going to probably choose image number four I'm going to make that the top one so there's going to be the top one here and uh, this one here is the bottom one so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and move it so that it's as close as possible to um, superimposing. So I'm going to look at the two images. That's about there. Stick that down a bit. It's about there. Okay, so that's now overlapped. I'm now going to move this one down. So it's this image here. I'm going to move it down. Now you can see at the moment that it's on top and I actually said I want it on the bottom. So to do that, um, I'm going to go over to this side here, on the right hand side, I'm going to press control and I'm going to drag it down so it's below the central one. So now it's below. Um, and I will click it one more time um, and I'll try and move it now into its correct position. So a little bit tricky it's about there so that's in its correct position and so I've just got this last one at the top to do uh, this one's going to be on top um, and I want it to be below so I'm going to move it down to here and I'm going to put it and you can see it's, it's nice and below now I'm going to click it there so that's the image of the filter and what I'm going to do in a moment is merge them but what I, what I found is if I just take these images and merge them then the problem comes when there's one image on top of the other and it, uh, I've got little spots on here these are little particles and it tends to create more particles than what's there so the only bit I really want to merge is the bit where they're just overlapping just in a little bit of border and anything else I want to get rid of so if I have a look at, um, uh, for example, uh, this one here, I'm going to need to cut out a little bit of this one. So if I go to my uh, rectangular tool here and I go there, I'm going to cut out that part there and it goes down a little bit down here, I think, somewhere underneath. I'm going to cut a bit more than probably what I need to there we go and I'm going to press uh, delete Now you won't see any difference but what you will see is uh, is you'll see a difference in the picture here because you can see a little bit has gone um, so I've cut out uh, this one here so next thing what I want to do um, is I want to cut out uh, this bit here from this one here so I'm going to click that one go to the rectangular tool and I'm going to cut out a bit there and 
press delete. So now I've cut that one, I've cut this one, and now I want to cut the bottom one. Go into there, and I'm going to cut that. I'll cut more than I need, and press delete. Sorry, each time I'm pressing delete to remove. And um, not sure I was on the bottom one actually, I'll do that again. There we go, and delete. So now if you look at the images, the only one that's not cut is the one on top, and you can see little bits cut out of the other ones. So, um, in fact, this one here, this one at the top, we could do cutting a bit under here. So I'm gonna go to that image on the top, this one here, and I'm gonna crop a little bit out here because I'm not sure how much I did remove before. Oh no, edit undo, but too much. Edit undo clear. Let's go crop a bit further down there. Delete. Okay. So now I've what I've done is I've removed most of the overlaps. There's only a little bit overlapping. So now what I do is I select all layers, holding the control key down and I go to edit and now I go to uh, auto blend and I found panorama works okay and I say okay and now that is uh, merged the images together uh, what I could do with is now cutting out some of that space that we've got that's around the outside so I'm going to crop that one edit and I just press crop I can see it image crop and I could do it just crop in the top little bit of that and that image crop oh, edit undo I did the wrong thing sorry and then I'll just delete that image and I'm gonna crop I don't know why it's doing that. Image, undo, crop. Right, it should just be chucking out the top bit. But um, seeing it's not doing it for me right this moment, we're going to leave it. So at this point, what you need to do is file, uh, save as, and you can save it as a JPEG file. There we go. I'll change it as, um, as merged image. But it's not totally merged because remember it's only merging at the edges. Save, uh, I'll save it quality on high, say OK. And there's my image. If I now go back into the file, onto here, merged image, I can preview that. And there we go, there's my merged image. And that's the image of the filter.